Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Crazy Cycling Channel. I normally make bike videos, but today I thought I'd do something a little bit different and tell you the top five things I noticed about the US when I moved here after living abroad for over 10 years. So number one on the list is how aggressive drivers have become. I'm from the Midwest, this is Michigan, and when I was a kid, I would say that the driving style of most people was relaxed. I mean, people would rarely speed, People would just hang out in their lane and go down the highway. And in town, people wouldn't drive aggressively. They wouldn't honk their horns past you, cut you off. And that's totally changed now. I don't know how it is in other states, but here, when you're on the highway, it's really common to get past on both sides what people are doing, you know, 90, 100 miles an hour. It's very, very common. There's a much lower police presence than there used to be, so these people aren't getting caught either. You know, people will catch you off, cut you off. You'll see road rage. You know, people, uh, you know, honking at each other, you know, flipping each other off, things like that. That's very, very common. The other thing I really noticed is running red lights is just normal. You see that all the time, and that used to not be the case either. Um, and you see the police doing it as well. It's really just dramatic. It's such a difference. I mean, over this past 10 years, I've been back and forth to the U.S., but not long term. And I was shocked. This I noticed this as soon as I got off the plane uh, a couple months ago. So big, big difference between what it used to be like here in the U.S. Okay, number two on the list is prices. So the last place I lived abroad was the U.K., and I'm not even exaggerating when I say that the price of food here is three times more expensive than it was in the U.K., especially at the supermarket. Restaurant food is also more expensive. The only type of food that's cheaper in the U.S. right now is fast food. But it's not just food prices that have gone, uh, gone up. The price of clothing has also gone up quite a bit. When I was a kid, people would come from Europe to the U.S. specifically to buy clothes. But now, in my experience, clothes are actually more expensive here in the U.S. than they are in the U.K. And then, as far as just normal consumer goods, the prices are pretty comparable. In terms of electronics, I've found that some things are cheaper in the U.S., some are cheaper in the U.K. Things like computers and most of that sort of stuff is a little cheaper in the U.S., but things like mobile phones are significantly cheaper over in the UK for some reason. But in general, the price of products and especially food here in the US has shocked me. Another cost that's insane in the US is healthcare. So the cost of my health insurance in the US as a percentage of my salary is actually pretty similar compared to the UK, but the insurance here is way, way worse. In the UK, everybody is insured publicly through the national health insurance and it pretty much covers everything essential that you need. Here in the US, you can have health insurance and still be screwed. The deductible on my health insurance is $2,000 and that is low. When I was shopping on the healthcare marketplace, I found plans that had deductibles of $8,000, $10,000, $12,000. So that means if you get sick, you can still get bankrupt. And up to your, after your deductible, your health insurance might only cover a percentage of your cost anyway. So in my case, I think they only cover 30% of your cost. Af there is a cap at a certain level, and in my case, that is about $10,000, but $10,000 is a hell of a lot of money, and you would think that your insurance would cover that, and you still have to pay when you go to the doctor, even if you have insurance. It's totally ridiculous. In the UK, you pay taxes, and that goes towards your health care, but it's the same amount of money per month, at least in my case, and the insurance is way, way better. There's problems with that system as well. You can have delays there. They don't have enough doctors, but everybody's entitled to healthcare and it's cheaper in general than in the US when you factor in all those co-payments, deductibles, insurance. Someone's making money in the US and it's not you if you're not in the healthcare sector. Okay, number three on the list is cannabis, because weed is now legal in Michigan, and you know somebody's making a ton of money on that. Almost every billboard when you're driving on the highway now is for a marijuana dispensary. They're all over Lansing, which is the nearest city to where I am. They're all over Michigan, and these are people who are targeting mostly the poor population, those people who have already been screwed by healthcare. That's probably the topic for another video, but anyway, just in terms of what I noticed, the amount of marijuana dispensaries and how much it's advertised and how openly people talk about marijuana is totally different from when I was a kid. And also, 
it's very, very strange considering how taboo alcohol is. It's not that taboo in society anymore, but it certainly used to be. But every time I go get a drink anywhere, I get carded. If, you, if I go to the supermarket, I always have to show my ID. I'm 33 years old. Um, and it is really quite heavily policed. And now marijuana is just like a free for all. I mean, that's just everywhere all over the place. So that's just something interesting that I noticed since coming back to the US. Okay, so number four is something positive about the US and that is the infrastructure. So when I was a kid, the roads in Michigan were terrible. They were full of potholes, falling to pieces. And a lot of those roads are now being fixed. And I think that they're also building roads better. There are still some really broken roads, but not nearly as much as there used to be. But it's not just that the roads are getting fixed, but they're also putting in a lot more bike lanes. There's bike lanes all over Lansing now. There's bike lanes all over Michigan State University. And there certainly never used to be. Um, and they're also doing things like putting in roundabouts. When I was a kid, I can remember there being one roundabout here. And now, I, I mean, I know about at least 10 to 15 roundabouts in this area. Um, so that is positive, but of course, the things that I try and push for on this channel, like public transportation, uh, rail infrastructure, that sort of stuff is just not a thing here. We're, I mean, the US is way further behind than a lot of places, especially places in Europe and Asia. Um, and that's a real shame, but things are markedly better than they used to be in terms of infrastructure. Okay, so the last thing on the list is about regulations. So for example, in the UK, there's something called health and safety, which means that employers have a duty towards their employees to keep them healthy and safe at work. And those regulations are set and enforced by the government. And in the US, those types of regulations exist, but they're not really enforced so much. Instead, the enforcement of those types of things here is really done through lawyers because it's all about the money here in the US. It really is much more about the money than in other countries. It's, it's much easier to make money in the US than a lot of other places, but it's also a hell of a lot easier to lose money because if something happens to you, there might not be somebody there that can help you out. And so it's a much more divided type of society. But anyway, this type of regulations thing isn't just about working. It's everywhere. It's in banking as well. In banking, it, all banks are kind of different. In the UK, you can just easily, really easily switch between different bank accounts. And there's caps on ATM fees. There's caps on fees, this and that. And here, it's kind of more like the Wild West. And if you are in trouble with your bank, you can get so screwed. It's completely insane. Uh, and another place I really notice this is, is in vehicles. In the UK, you have something called an MOT. That's an annual vehicle inspection. Kind of a pain, but it's not very expensive. And it means that you know your vehicle is working. But more importantly, I found out that this means when you buy a vehicle, you know that that vehicle is at least safe and working. Here in the US, you see any kind of vehicle driving down the road, anything, anything that runs will be driving down the road. And there is absolutely nobody who cares whether that thing is safe or runs or anything like that. On the one level, you can say, well, that might mean that it's a little bit cheaper at the outset to buy a car, but over time, you're going to have more expenses. And it just means that there's a lot less consumer protection and protection for the environment. So those are just a couple things in terms of regulation. There's a lot more. But the U.S., again, is really kind of a cowboy culture, cowboy government, a cowboy country and not cowboy government. Well, another video, um, but um, it's all about making money here and uh, business, 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 sometimes at the expense of people and the environment. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Something a little bit different. Most of my channels are on cycling. So if you're interested in cycling, you can subscribe. Hope you're having a great day. It's lovely here. It's cold. It's below freezing, but the sun is out. So I thought I'd make this video for you. It's been on my mind for a while, but I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care and maybe I'll see you in another video. Thanks.